Hey guys, here with another episode of On The Real Outdoors. We're out here in Gilman today. Um, I don't know what part of the National Forest this is, but there's a beautiful spot right behind me, and I am about to fish the heck out of it. This whole, I have a couple of hours to fish this whole river. I wanted to let you guys know that I am starting a new challenge on my channel. The challenge is going to be catching every species in New Mexico. So come along with me on this journey and see how many of the species we can catch together. Uh, I'm also gonna be doing different videos like uh, a Walmart challenges and things like that. So um, go down in the comments and let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, also comment, uh, like, and subscribe. Thank you, I appreciate everybody that subscribes and likes the content. Let me know what I can be doing better. Um, all right, let's hit it. He's nice. Gosh, you got a back on him. Come over here, baby boy. Yeah. Oh. Look at that guy. He is very pretty. Whoa. Nice. See, he was in the thicker current right there on the side. He, he was not in this slow moving water. That was cool. This is so awesome. I haven't been up to Pecos in about a year. So catching fish like this, rather than freaking having to grind for them is fun. There we go. He's a little bit smaller, but he's nice. Another nice trout, very pretty.
Oh my god. Please stay on. Please stay on. Okay. He hit that dry fly, guys. This is a nice one, too. Oh, yeah. Come on. That's a very nice one. This is a brown trout, though. He lives. Okay, baby boy. Yeah, there's another nice one, guys. This is a trunker. He is so nice. Really nice. Dang, this is a big one. Chunky boy. Oh my gosh, guys, I got one. Yes. Nice. This is a brown trout. And I caught him behind that rock right there. Remember how I said brown trout like to be behind rocks? Oh my gosh, look at the picture. Look at the colors on this guy. Look at him. So pretty. So there's a brown trout, guys. Let's see. That's fine. <gasps> he just popped me off. He just popped me off. Oh my God. Got one, guys. Oh, look at this. This is another fish for our species catch, guys. Oh, yeah. 
This is called a long nosed dace. Look at this guy, but I think this one right here, this, I think this one right here is a female. Yeah, cause the males, the males they'll have like a red face right here. Look at that guy, a little tiny guy. A long-nosed dace, a female, because they don't have a red face in there. Guys, I just got one on the dry fly. Nice. Look at that. Dang it. Yeah. He was hungry. Oh, he has teeth. Dang it. I keep doing that. Look at that one. That's a very pretty one. On the dry fly. There he is, guys. There's a nice one. Oh my gosh, he is very nice. What the heck? Guys, this is a real grand cutthroat. No freaking way. This is a new species. Guys, that is so cool. I never knew there was real grand cutthroat down here. Holy smokes. That's so nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so crazy. This is so insane, guys. Real Grand Cutthroat usually don't come, come through here. They're usually more up north. Oh my God. No, no. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. That was one of the biggest Real Grand Cutthroat I've ever caught. Come on. Oh. <sighs> It's okay, I'm sure there's more. That one that bit my dry fly earlier, that was a real grand cutthroat. Well, my hands were on him so it counts, but we're gonna try for another one. I don't know how much longer I can stay because I gotta go home to the children. Oh my gosh.
that cutthroat hit on this black hair black hairs here guys 